Here's a warning for Pitt Street or Collins Street farmers who think that they might uh, invest a few of their dollars into a rural property. Sometimes they're in for a bit of a shock. You hear a lot of new chum talk about going on the land and raising record crops of wheat on rocks and flame and sand. Now, I hate exaggerated strike, but if you like, I can elucidate a case in which the land went on the man. Bill Jones, he had a mountain block down Kosciuszko Way, farmed at night to death, the neighbours used to say. He scarified its surface with his double-furrowed plough and ate its bleeding heart out with his sheep and milk and cows. He stuffed up its intestines with his agricultural pipes, limes and superphosphates fit to give the land the gripes, till this here land, worn out with Jonesy's thrift, reckoned that the time would come to up and make a shift. So, one morning, the mountain shook itself and gave an almighty groan. The neighbours, they were more afraid than they were game to own. Their jaws, they dropped upon their chests. Their eyes, they opened wide to see Bill's farm upend itself and down the mountain slide. It slithered down the mountain spur, majestic-like and slow, and ended in the river bank, a thousand feet below. Now, Bill Jones was on the lower slopes of this here long suffering farm. He was testing out some new-fangled plough. It was working like a charm. He'd just been screwing up a nut when he heard an almighty crack and 50 acres more or less came down on Jones's back. He'd just been standing there, a owning all that land. Next he's in eternity, a spanner in his hand. They never dug up no remains nor scraps of William Jones. <laughs> the superphosphate ate the lot, hide buttons, boots and bones. For this here land that Jones abused and scarified in the past had turned around and things got evened up at last. From this untimely end of Bill, or so it would appear, that going on the land ain't all skittles and beer so all you cockies are saving up your screws to get upon the land <laughs> watch out the land don't get on use